Hey guys, you're with me, Kevin, your scuba professional. And today we're here to review the Big Blue Video LED Light. This is one of the biggest torches and lights that we sell on our website. So let's dive in, in to see what's going on with this. So first thing I see is the Big Blue Light comes with this really awesome yellow Big Blue dry bag, which I think is really, really cool. Good little extra that they've just added in. So let's pop it open to see what's going on. I'm going to open this oak up there. You'll know how a dry bag works, so I don't have to explain that to you. So let's see what's going on there. Okay, dry bag, we're going to keep that. It's big blue on it, eh? That's really cool. Okay, move that guy out the way. Alright, cool. Comes with a plastic strappy thing. Let's have a look on the inside. Hello. Hello. Need like an instruction manual on how to open the box. Ah, found it. Okay, opening up to check. Yeah, a little bit of that. There's a big light. Take that guy out the way. A whole bunch of other really cool things in here. So let's uh, let's have a look. Don't need that. I'll recycle that. All right, cool. So first thing I see, it comes with the torch itself. There's the really cool big blue torch. Uh, it's a super, super bright LED torch. We're going to get to that in a sec. Comes with uh, an instruction manual. It's very important that I point out that you read your instruction manual thoroughly so you fully understand the complete workings of your big blue torch. All right, cool. Comes with a battery charger. I'll pop that guard. See, there we go. There's the battery charger. There's a little lanyard for holding onto the torch itself. That battery charger will charge this really big, powerful. It's a 382650 battery. Look at the size of that guy. That's a really good one. Lithium iron. Comes with a yellow filter. I think that's really cool to pop over the edge of the top of the, the torch there. That'll stop the massive brightness. Um, you've got a ball joint. That ball joint over there will fit onto the torch and you can then attach that to any of your camera lights. If you're going to use this as a video light, which is great. And then inside here they have that check out one of those hand straps yeah this is really really cool this is what we call the goodman style uh, hand strap so you would strap this around your wrist and uh, this would pop on top right there so you could then have hands-free operation of the torch itself i think that's a really cool addition as well uh, the lanyard we went through that which is called extra set of o-rings one little packet with a little screw and that little screw will work on all the other little bits and bobs over there a uh, pot of silicone grease, I think that's really cool as well. And uh, strap as well, goes on the dry bag, so you put it over your arm, which is uh, which is cool. So let's uh, move all of these guys out the way. And uh, what do you say we zoom on down to put this guy together and uh, we can see how bright the torch is, because this torch shines at 120 degrees and it's also got a 10 degree angle. So you could use this as a video light for a really wide beam or narrow it down right into uh, as a spot beam if you're looking for something underwater. So let's zoom down to see what's going on. Right, now that we've got the zoom in and overhead done over here, let's play around with some of the settings of the torch itself. So you see I've got my on off button over there. I have already installed the yellow lens at the top over here. So we're going to test it to flip it open and backwards. But you'll see as we push the button over here, it is going to play havoc with uh, the lighting in the studio. But let's go ahead, I'll talk you through it. So first off, we've got the yellow light, which is on. I'm just going to push this button on for uh, two seconds. And you see it's really bright. That's the yellow light over there. You can see we've got a bit of yellow. It's a bit, a bit of a challenge always to see in the studio. If I pull that open, you can see that makes it a white light. And here we have the 10 uh, degree beam over there. Now, if I push it one more time, it's going to brighten it out to the 120. And that is going to make the studio lights go funny. But let's watch and see. Push the button once. And there you go. You see I've got that white light over there. And now I can dim it by pushing the button. I'll push it once. Oh, I just turned it off. Okay, we'll try again. I'm just going to push the button on. So there's my wide beam. Push it again. Oh, it's going off. Okay, one more time to push it down dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. See, that reduces it each time it gets dimmer and dimmer. And then to turn it off, I can turn it off again. So let's just try one more time. I'm going to push this button and hold it for one, two. Then you can see you've got the sharp beam there. Push it again. Wide beam. One more time. It'll turn it off. But then we'll just turn it on one more time. Push it one more time, yeah, it goes off, 
and I can now, as I push the buttons down, I can reduce the brightness. There we go, as I turn it on, I can reduce the brightness of the torch to make the burn time last longer. So a bit of playing around you guys need to do to figure that out. One really cool thing with this is if I push the button twice, it gives me those infrared or those red LEDs, one, two. See, there's that really funky red light. So this is really good for forming those shy little critters out there if you don't want to hurt their eyes, which I think is really cool. And then that'll put it back onto the bright wide angle and then we can turn it off and on again. So there's uh, the different light settings from the torch itself. So let's just pop on out to the uh, main camera now to go through the summary of it all. So now that we're back up over here, let's just uh, just push the buttons again so you guys can see from the front end, I've got the yellow cap on it. So I'm just gonna push the button down to turn it on. You see, I've got that yellow light over there coming onto the, the screen. If I move that out the way, bright light, and then I can turn it off. If I hold it in, then I can dim it down by pushing the button a few times to make the battery last longer. And then I push it one, two, and that'll turn it on. Let's just turn it off one more time. We'll get that infrared. So I go one, two, there's that infrared, which is really, really cool. And then that just goes to full video beam and I can dim it down and then turn it off. So uh, let's review everything else we get with this big blue light. Ideal for video and for spot beam because we can narrow it down. It's got those really funky little red beams as well. We've got the flip up little uh, yellow lens just to calm it all down. I'm gonna start pulling things off now to see what else is there. Remember, we get the dry bag that comes with it, with big blue written on it, which I think is really cool. We get the charger for the battery inside the torch. We get a set of O-rings, a double O-ring set. So this is a double O-ring sealed torch as well. Funky pot of silicone, which we've got over there. We've got the hand. We've got the hand grip over there. You can pop that on. You can pop the torch on top, which is really, really cool. We've got the ball joint, which you can mount onto any of your camera uh, housings, just to give you lots of light there. One extra screw, just to put it all together. And of course, the, uh, the lanyard itself. So there is my review of the Big Blue Video Torch. A really, really funky thing. A really expensive torch, yes, I know, but for what you get and for what you pay, I think it's a really, really good. Must have any serious diver that uh, needs a proper torch and a really good video light. So there's my review of everything that comes with the set. If you guys are enjoying these product reviews, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel or go check out all our social streams, facebook.com being the main one, facebook.com forward slash scuba.ca.za. We've got the Instagrams and Twitters and the rest as well. So go check it out and we'll keep you up to date with all the cool things we've got going on. So that's it from me guys. And I look forward to seeing you really soon in the water.